the World Risk Handicap Hurdle will be a third hurdle race on the spin, and it's two or three furlongs this time. It's a class two 0 to 140 handicap, and the top one for this one is Fountain Springs for Darren Thompson. Channel Orange for the same trainer, Darren Thompson. Grinder for Craig Beckwith has also got Rave Express, Guilty Perfect for David Hooley, Penelope Pitstop, and Teasel Bing for David Robertson. The Red Baron, Joshua Sutherland, Colbrook Answer, and She's Far Red for Graham Clutterbuck. Viper Strike for Paul Rhodes, Black Ascoli for Marty Lidham, and Goodnight Naples for Ryan Costello. So, an amazing number of trainers who've got two horses right next to each other in the handicap. So 13 of them then this time, the rain stopped, and away we go. Very short one to the first, a huge hurdle for this one. And Viper Strunk the Great is the early leader. From Black Ascoli and Rave Express as they get over the second, and Black Ascoli jumped that one really well and has now gone into the lead. Oh, I'll be sure it wants to be in the lead, mind. And Viper Strunk the Grey has easily regained that position then so they're racing down towards the third then net and over that one they go and they're all safely over it with guilty perfect just the back marker and viper strike leads over this fully looking hurdle and then back over the fifth i presume we've already gone to all toy and it's, it's viper strike in the lead from fountain springs in second Yep, there's the tower in the background, so if we're not going to toy, we're in Blackpool. So it's Viper striking the lead then by about six lengths to Rave Express in second, and then the Red Baron is third, Fountain Springs is fourth, then Black Ascoli after that one, and then comes Colbrook Answer and Guilty Perfect, Channel Orange after that one, and then She's Farid and Teasel Bink, and Grinder just the back marker as they take flight number six. And they're all safely over that one, although Goodnight Naples was very nearly saying Goodnight Vienna then. And was almost out of the race but it's Viper Strike in the lead then coming to number seven and over number seven they go with Viper Strike the only grey in the field clear in front as they pass the stands the assembled throng of race guys for this final week of the season as they pass the winning post then which is hidden between bushes and they're going to swing left-handed shortly and Viper Strike be the one that leads them out onto their final circuit of the track with Fountain Springs three lengths down in second then Teasel Bing wide on the track is third as they get to number eight and over that one they all go they're all safely over it and all jumping okay with three towards the back grinder Penelope pit stop and good night Naples but it's still Viper Strike in front then by about five or six lengths to Rave Express and Fountain Springs then Guilty Perfect and Black Ass Curly with Teasel Bing she's far heads after that one as they take number nine Safely over that one. Penelope pit stop now, the back marker. Viper struck. Trying to make every poster what he want. Leads by a good three lengths. Rave Express and Fountain Springs and Black Ascolia continuing to close. Then comes Colbrook Answer and Guilty Perfect and Teasel Bing. Grinders also making good ground. Then the Red Barons after that one as they take number 10. Uh, Channel Orange is the one who's there. Shuffle to the back. A lot of hurdling to do in these French races. And Viper Strike gets over number 11 with a clear lead. From Black Ascoli, Channel Orange is struggling at the back along with Goodnight Naples. But it's Viper Strike in front with Rave Express and Black Ascoli. Then comes Fountain Springs, Colbrook Answer as they take number 12. And over that one they go. With Viper Strike continuing to lead as they're into the final five furlongs. Over the 13th three more to take then now that's the third last there and a really good jump by fountain springs has seen that one come through the challenge black ascoli has just hit a bit of a flat stop spot and dropped away but it's fountain springs now challenging viper strike for the lead around the outside as they begin to take this long sweeping turn towards home and the final two flights and fountain springs is now three quarters of a length clear of viper strike in second colbrook answer is third then she's far out and rave express grinders running on black ascoli's beaten teasel bing is trying to get into it so too's going to be pit stop over the second last echo mistake there by Viper Strike leaves Fountain Springs three clear off Colbrook Answer in second coming down towards the final flight then now and it's Fountain Springs in the lead from Colbrook Answer over it they go Colbrook Answer jumped it well so too did Viper Strike Fountain Springs is beginning to tie up in the lead Viper Strike is coming back Colbrook Answer on the outside Viper Strike into the front again and it's Viper Strike who's beginning to pull away and Viper Strike is going to take this one bravely and racing up towards it and Viper Strike takes it from Colbrook Answer and she's fired and Fountain Springs and Rabbit's missing Teasel Bing and oh 
all the way back. So good night, Naples. And Viper Strike looked like it had thrown that race away with that mistake. But battled back bravely to regain the lead in the straight then or after the final flight. So Viper Strike takes it for Paul Rhodes. Colbrook answer for Graham Clutterbuck second. Fountain Springs for Darren Thompson was third. She's far ahead for Graham Clutterbuck was fourth. And Rare Express for Craig Beckwith was fifth.